Hello, this is Stephen Withrow with Webicator. In this video, I'm going to show you a solution Christoph Kalanzaga came up with for references in Java. Christoph agreed to let us create this video showing his solution, which is available as an article here on his blog at the URL shown here. Christoph begins by indicating there are four types of references in Java, strong, soft, weak, and phantom. The difference really is the way that the garbage collector manages these references. The garbage collector is responsible for reclaiming memory that is no longer in use by objects. The garbage collector tracks objects that are in use with a garbage collection route. The problem as stated by Christoph is that we might be misusing memory. We may have objects that could be reclaimed by the garbage collector, but we have indicated strong references that prevents the garbage collector from doing so. Therefore, if we were to utilize, say, a weak reference or a soft reference, that might promote better memory usage by the JVM. A strong reference is the standard reference. Whenever we create an object using the new operator, we create an object that has a strong reference. In other words, the object will not be garbage collected until there are no references to the object. A soft reference gives the garbage collector the option of removing the object from memory in response to a short on memory situation. Therefore, if an out of memory exception should occur, it will not occur because objects are still allocated that have soft references to them. A reference queue is provided by the Oracle JVM so that a referenced object is tracked in the reference queue. This would allow you to clear the soft reference as the developer and help avoid an out of memory error. A weak reference gives the garbage collector the ability to remove the object even if memory is not currently low. Oracle provides a weak hash map which permits the developer to create a map of weak references to objects. These objects, by the way, can also be tracked on a reference queue. A phantom reference is the fourth and final type of memory reference. This is probably not of much benefit to the developer. The phantom reference occurs when the finalized method is called. However, the object has not been physically deleted from memory. Inspired by Christoph's blog, I have created a Java class on my computer that will demonstrate weak and soft references. In this particular case, I am going to create a soft reference and a weak reference using classes from Java Lang Ref. First of all, I will create two strings. I also create a reference queue. I'm going to use that for the weak referenced object. I create a soft reference object and I create a weak reference object. For the weak reference object, I pass the reference queue to the constructor. Then I simulate the program's process flow. Next, I set the underlying strings to null. When I call the garbage collector, this will make both of these eligible for garbage collection. I'm going to check to see if the soft reference is not equal to nil. If so, I will print the soft reference object that will return the hash code of the object. And also, I will use the get method to return the string which is referenced by soft reference. I repeat the same code for the weak reference. Next, I will run the garbage collector. And then I'm going to check the weak reference again. I will display the weak reference hash code and I will attempt to get the string that the weak reference is pointing to. 
Next, I will issue the poll method that is supported by the reference queue class. This will return a reference object if one is available in the queue, else we will not get an object. That indicates that an object is available for garbage collection. Now I will test my program. The first display indicates that the weak reference string is null because I've set it to null. That means that the strong reference is now eligible for garbage collection. Now I will print the soft reference hash code and its value and the weak reference object hash code and its value. After the garbage collection called, the weak reference hash code is still in place. The value though is now null. The string that was weakly referenced has been garbage collected. I will now remove the object from the reference queue using the poll method. Because of the garbage collection, the weakly referenced object has been enqueued. If I display the value, the value is still null. Thanks again to Kristoff for the inspiration for this video. For other articles related to Java and the Java Virtual Machine, check out his blog at the URL shown here.